Hey everybody, welcome back to Stamping School. I am using the Sketch Butterflies. These are in our annual catalog. I think it's page 66, 68, something like that. And I'll link to them in the description. And the dies and the stamps. And then I also had a request from Mary Jane to do the wildly flowering paper, which I hadn't even used yet. So combining those together with a fun fold. So something like this. One of these. I got my inspiration for this card today from this card I received in the mail from Lisa Brown. This is pretty. So I do Freebie Friday on Facebook. If you go to the Stamping School Facebook page, every Friday I give away something and all you have to do is post one of your, your cards that you've created lately or whatever you've stamped lately. It doesn't have to be a card. And she won one of the weeks and she sent me this really great card. So I don't know what Lisa calls this, but I remember um, Iced Images made this a few years ago. So I looked it up to see what she called it. And if you go to her YouTube channel, Iced Images, um, it's called Pull Out Fancy Fold Card is what she called it. So I'll call it the same since she did it three years ago. And I'll show you um, a few different versions of this and how to score it. Really easy and it's a great way to use up your designer paper if you're, you hoard it like I do. Now what Lisa did is she used cardstock. You can tell she did the, um, the soft sea foam. And then she did her little bit of layers. So if you want to save on designer paper, this is a good way. She did an emboss panel and then she, so it's a little bit heavier. Uh, did some layers and that, so it's really pretty. But because I had so much of this paper, I decided to use this one. The sketch butterflies look like this. There's some sentiments in it. So we've got thinking of you. Hope is a beautiful thing that flutters in the soul. You brighten up many of my days, wishing you a happy, no, wishing you a beautiful birthday. Thank you. And then this one. And then there's large stamps that are sketchy. They call it sketched butterflies because see how they look kind of drawn like with ink. So this one gets cut out here with this die. This one with this die. We've got this one that they're hooked together, which on one of my cards, I'll show you, um, I cut them apart. This little side butterfly. And then these two will layer together and so will these two. So like you can cut this one separately or you can use them together like that. So it's a nice, nice bundle. A lot of you already have butterflies and that's great if you do, then you don't have to buy it. And you can use this layout with all sorts of other things. So this card is just an A2 size card. You can make it any size you want, obviously, but I'm using 12 by 12 paper and cutting it down to five and a half by 12 to do this fold right here. So if you end up doing it with eight and a half by 11 paper, then your panels on the side will, you know, they could be a little bit smaller. You know, you have to figure out that, but this is um, a real easy way to cut this down. Now, before you cut it, you have to think about what the orientation is going to be, okay? So it's going to fold like this. So you want to make sure that nothing is upside down because I did one upside down, this one right here. So it technically should have been like this, okay? But it's now for a left-handed person. So I'm going to have to mail this to a lefty or they'll figure it out. But in this case, it's exactly the same measurements, but I just use different dies. And this is the one that I cut apart, this long one, and just scattered out those two little butterflies. So I only have to run that die through one time, but that's with the mauve and brown. So when you think about it, um, if this one's gonna go like this to the front, then you wanna score it that way. Okay, you're gonna score it at, four and a quarter. And remember this is designer paper, so you wanna go very lightly. Um, you don't wanna hear that okay? Very, very lightly. So you're gonna score it at four and a quarter, and then again at eight and a half, okay? And then you've got this piece left, and we're gonna split the difference in that. So it'll be 10 and a quarter, like that, okay. So I'm gonna, show you again a little bit darker so you can see it. So it's four and a quarter, okay, and eight and a half, 
eight and a half, and then 10 and a quarter, 10 and a quarter. So three of those. Then fold this like this, that goes there. And then this one folds in and back. So basically you've created a little mountain fold right there, and that's your fold. So that will equal four and a quarter by five and a half. And that's your fun fold. Now, sometimes when you do this fold, there's a little bit of wonkiness in the paper. And it could be the paper wasn't exactly 12 by 12, or maybe you slipped a little while you were trying to do it. So just kind of line the edges up and give it a little fold so then it's perfect. Now what we have to do is put our window on. You can do any kind of window. In fact, I'll show you a holiday card that I did with these at the end of the video. But I'm gonna, I like that circle. I'm gonna do that circle again. And I chose two of the stitch circles that layer together. So kind of get that in the area that you want on the front of the card and kind of tape that in. And you can save this for something else. I'm gonna run this through. Now, don't get rid of this because sometimes you can turn it over and it's a, such a pretty coordinating color. Look at this. So I can put this to the front this way and use that as my middle piece. And then I can come in with two smaller pieces. So what you're gonna to wanna to do, if you don't like this color that it is on the other side, you can cut another large one and then you need the next size down. And this one I did as the back of that paper from the same pattern, because I like that green and that burlapy color together. This paper is so pretty because it's got like a texture to it. I don't know if you can see it. So it looks like fabric or canvas, but it's not. It's nice and smooth, but it's such pretty paper. It's a little retro even, I think, with the mauve and this, this pattern. Whew, and that wild wheat, I don't know. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to think on that one. <laughs> that really looks a little retro to me, but it's pretty. But they all come in there and it's such pretty paper. Now you can add a panel back in here to write on. And if you want to, you can dress these up and add extra paper here, all right? I'm just probably gonna leave them blank for this one, all right? Leave that here because that's where we're going to glue. So this piece gets glued right in here, right? So if you decided to use this piece, which is the back side, you flip it over and then when they open it, look how pretty that is on this side. Oh, that's pretty too. Oh, maybe I'll do that one. Right. So whatever you decide to use for your large circle, let's see the cards right here, you're gonna put the glue right here. And that's the only place you put it. If you want to use um, like a sticky tape or something, or just make sure you're careful, and give it some tape right there. And then keep that nice and flat. And then push that through the hole, nice and even, and rub it down. All right, so that is your pull tab. It looks like that. Now I've got this piece that'll go here. You could also just do white, but I, I like the way it had that matching burlapy look to it right there. And then we can decorate with our butterflies. Now for the butterflies, I really could go with a little bit of the, that mauve in there too, if I wanted to, but I'm gonna do this blue. I stamped these in Misty Moonlight and I cut Misty Moonlight right here. I've got some of my blends. This is light boho, so it's even just a little bit darker. And I'm just gonna scribble. Because they're blends, these are the alcohol markers, you can get away with doing scribbling and it's not gonna look scratchy scratchy, it's gonna look nice. And I like a little bit of that white in there. See how there's just a little bit of, bit of white left when you do the scribble? I really like that look. And then a little brown for the middle because it's got a little brown in the card. So let's do a little brown on his body right there. I could do just a couple little dots of brown here. I don't know if that's even gonna pick up on the camera, but we'll try. And then a little bit of the dark boho blue and we're just gonna color in just a little bit of dark here and there just to make it look a little bit more pulled together. Maybe a little bit scribble down the ends. 
Again, I don't want it too perfect because the butterfly is already sketchy looking, so we don't need it to, to be perfect looking. Okay, so he goes on with a dimensional right there. And this one I can go straight, but I kind of like it with the white behind it, so I'm gonna try that. Let's put these two together. There, I've got a glue dot on the back. As long as you're staying within um, the hole, okay? So that's one thing to keep in mind. You can't go too far around that. And then maybe a few little rhinestones. Let's do a big one up here. And then we can do our sentiment right across here. A cute little sentiment banner. I've got this one. You brighten up so many of my days. I could do that right there in, in brown or blue, one or the other. So this paper right here is a different pattern, but you can kind of see how great they look all together. This one is the mauve version in a different pattern. You could do a square, you could turn the square so it's a, a diamond. So any other shape you have, if you have big punches, you could do that also. And then let me show you this one. This is a holiday one that I was playing around with right here. So this is new paper. This is in the online exclusives area. It's so pretty. I thought you could just do anything here. This is the only thing that I had that was a, a little Christmas set, but I just thought, well, let's just play around and see what it would look like. So there's three different greenery papers that you can get. There's vellums. Now these all come 12 by 12, but I've been playing around with them. So these are pieces of what I have. Isn't that pretty? It's printed vellum. And this could be for the holidays for sure. This has got little white berries in there. That's pine. Some of them have a little snow on it. And this one is just like a white vellum, like that, like a pattern vellum. And then they also have mercury gold vellum. These are so pretty. Three different type patterns and they're all vellums and they're all gold. That's what it looks like on the other side. You can even use the other side like a silvery snow. Three different patterns in that. They're very similar, but in their textural, you can feel it on there, especially this one, you can feel that. And then the designer paper, it's all, I think it's green, gold greenery, golden greenery, something like that. I'll link to it below, but these are all 12 by 12 gold and green. We've got green patterns on one side and gold and cream, like a vanilla on the other side on that one. This one's white, gold and white and greens with the bells. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. Sorry for the glare, but you can see the other side, it's all greens. So those are all new and they're just online. They're not in a catalog. You don't have to buy them online, but you can. You can always email me. If It doesn't mean you can only order them online. It just means that they're not in a catalog. So they're just extra. So I like this fold a lot. Lisa, thank you for sending me that card for my inspiration. And don't forget, you can get all the measurements just by clicking the link below. It'll take you over to my blog where you can see um, all the details and get the PDF. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. See it, learn it, stamp it.